It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's awkward Tuesday phone call. People will go out of their way to catch their significant other cheating. Mm -hmm. They'll go through their phone, maybe put a GPS tracker in Mm. their car, even go as far as hiring a private investigator. Private? Private. Yeah, to get get in there and take a closer look, investigate those privates, make sure you know where they've been. That one looks like it went somewhere else. Yep. (laughs) Well, Heather, who's on the phone today, was hired to catch somebody cheating, and now she's got a problem. What's up, Heather? Hey guys, how are you? Pretty good. Are you a privates investigator? <laughs> well, I'm trying to be right now, actually. Really? Okay. Wait, is this like a new thing for you? You've never done it before? No, I've never done it before. But a friend of a friend approached me. Okay. And she basically hit me up and told me that she is very suspicious of her current boyfriend and thinks that he's cheating on her. Oh, man. So why does this involve you? Exactly. I'm like, no, I'm not that girl. Don't be trying to like creep on my Instagram and all that jazz. But <laughs> basically, she offered to pay me $50 uh-huh. to approach her boyfriend like when she knew he was going to be out without her and flirt with him to see if he would basically flirt back with me or, you know, entertain the idea of being with me. Right. Okay. okay. So she basically, I guess that's called entrapment. I'm pretty sure. Right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's exactly what that is. I'm pretty <laughs> yeah. sure. I've heard of people doing things like this. They'll ask a friend to flirt with their boyfriend or girlfriend to see if maybe they're down to cheat. So did you take the money? Oh, honey, I was like, $50, that's like a nice bottle of wine. Yeah, so, why not? <laughs> well, hopefully she paid for your drinks that night, too. Or he did. I don't know. I don't know how the night went. Well, so basically, she gave me a picture of him, so I knew what he looked like. Okay. And described him, and of course, he sounded like a total bag. Well, right. and the thing is, usually if you're getting to a point where you're paying somebody 50 bucks to try to flirt with your boyfriend, it's because you actually know he's cheating. You just need evidence. Exactly. So I went to this bar, and I walk in. Immediately, I see this group of guys, and he's in the middle. And I just did my thing. I walked up to the bar, acted like I was waiting for a drink and made sure I was standing next to him. And then I just turned to him and I put my hand on his arm and I was like, oh my God, I love this color on you. It <laughs> makes your eyes like totally pop. Nice. And he just, like, his face just like brightens up and we totally ended up talking. And like I said, I expected him to be a total <laughs> bag. Oh no. And he was the exact opposite. Really? So he didn't take the bait then? Well, he basically took the bait in the sense that he talked to me and, you know, I was like flirting and like touching his arm and like laughing at all his jokes and like telling his friends like, oh my God, this guy is so awesome. And he did offer to buy me a drink. Okay. But then at the end of this little, you know, 30 minute extravaganza, Uh I basically said, you know, I would love to see you sometime. And I offered my phone number to him. And? And he literally put his hand on like my shoulder and said, you are so pretty and so sweet. But honestly, I have to tell you that I have a girlfriend, so I can't take your number. Oh my God, for once, his girlfriend was just being paranoid and it wasn't actually true. You failed at your mission. Did you have to give your 50 bucks back? (laughs) (laughs) Didn't have to do that. But here's the problem, you guys. What's the issue? I literally left the bar thinking, wow, like I'm really picky. And I I definitely have trust issues and I have a hard time trusting men because I've been cheated on before. Mm -hmm. I left the bar like my heart kind of like skipped a beat when he put his hand on my shoulder and was like, you're so beautiful and this. I like thought he was going to be like, I would love to go out with you. So when he said, no, I have a girlfriend, like my heart literally fell into my stomach. Wait. And now I can't stop thinking about him, you guys. Oh, God. <laughs> all right. No. no so... you can't. Basically, no. So he told me he had a girlfriend. But first of all, obviously, this girl's a little Looney Tune. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know now if I'm crazy, but there's a part of me, you guys. I mean, Lord help me. I kind of want to, like, tell him, like, what his girlfriend did. <gasps> you, uh, do you, you want, want, to, do you want to tell her? Like, what's the point of telling him, though? Is it so that he maybe breaks up with his girlfriend and then you have a shot? Can I say yes to that? Yes. You say whatever you want to say if that's the real reason. You cannot do that. You That is pure evil. You cannot do that. You're sabotaging them. Well, no, but am I sabotaging it or am I giving him a look into the girl he's dating? Like, look what she's doing. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously there's a huge 
trust issue there, and maybe he's better off not in that relationship. Oh, my but God. Do not feed into this, Jubal. Well, I'm not feeding into anything. Maybe he's better off. Like, if you have a girl who's trying to set you up to cheat, then maybe you shouldn't be there. But you don't know what's really going on behind closed doors, And okay? neither do maybe you. you. So let's just make her have the phone you call. You stay out of it. That is not your man. Well, this is why I'm calling you, and obviously you both have different opinions. That okay. is bad so karma. what do you want to do then with your phone call? I mean, can we call him? <gasps> we can do whatever you want to do. It's your awkward Tuesday phone call. I do not support this. I just want to put it out there right now. No, I'm Brooke, intrigued. Brooke, I mean... Brooke, it's not that I want to ruin it. I just want to enlighten uh-huh. him. Maybe the relationship isn't as good. Yeah, I mean, sure. he, maybe out of obligation, he said I have a girlfriend. Who knows? We'll never know unless we actually make the phone call. So okay. let's just do that. All right, <laughs> Heather, oh, hang on the phone, and we'll make your Awkward Tuesday phone call right after this, okay? I love you. All right, <laughs> hang on. It's awkward. It's Tuesday. It's Brooke and Jubal's Awkward Tuesday phone call. They say that you can't help who you fall in love with, <laughs> yeah. whether it's a coworker. Whether it's your imaginary friend with one tooth named Chompy. Really? He's got a bit of a drug problem and an <laughs> insatiable need to be pleased. Oh, Where, man. What's your imagination? Yeah. Love your life. that guy. Yeah. Or you could fall in love with the person that you were paid to flirt with. Kind of like Heather, who's on the phone for an awkward Tuesday phone call right now. She has a friend of a friend who actually paid her 50 bucks to go flirt with her boyfriend to see if this dude would cheat. And Heather took her up on the offer, tried to get him to flirt at a bar. They talked for a little while, but when she asked him for his phone number, he said no because he has a girlfriend. So as far as we know, the dude's faithful. Yeah, he's a great guy so far. But now Heather wants to call him and tell him what happened in hopes that he'll break up with his girlfriend and pursue a relationship with Heather. (laughs) Heather, I didn't even ask you, how do you even have this guy's phone number? Good question. Yeah, well, I actually caught one of his friends on the way to the bathroom as I was leaving and was like, hey, I know this is awkward, but can I get your friend's number? And he gave it to me. Oh, Oh my God. What a little friend. (laughs) I guess the friend doesn't like the girlfriend, apparently. (laughs) Seriously. So you got one person on your side. Jeez. (laughs) Right? What's the guy's name, too? I don't even know his name yet. It's Ross. Ross. Okay. And are you sure you want to do this? I mean, you said the whole reason you like him is because he seems like such a nice guy. And you're going to turn him into not a nice guy after this if, if he does, in fact, go for it. Honestly, I just think he should know whether or not he would even consider dating me. I would want to know if my boyfriend was doing this kind of stuff. All right. I'm going to dial his phone number right now. Here we go. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, Ross? Yes, this is Ross. Hey, this is Heather. Um, We met the other night out at... Who? Heather, we met the other night at a bar. You were with a big group of guys, and we talked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, I'm, I'm good. How did you get my number? I actually got it from one of your friends. I hope that's okay. You got my number from one of my friends? Yeah, I was, I mean, I was leaving and um, I guess, I don't know, the guy with the plaid shirt was like walking to the bathroom and I just kind of pulled him aside and told him that I really wanted your number. (laughs) Oh man, of course. Uh, Yeah, he shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I mean, um, look, I'm, I'm really, really flattered that you want to go out with me, but uh, I told you I have a girlfriend. Yeah, I totally get that, but that's not why I'm calling. Um, I actually know your girlfriend. Like, I've met her before. What? Yeah, and I listen, I know this is going to sound really awkward. Um, it's kind of weird for me to even be telling you this, but I just feel like you need to know that Basically, I met your girlfriend because she reached out to me through a friend, and she paid me to meet up with you the other night and hit on you. The whole thing was oh, God. Are you are you serious? Again? Yeah. Wait, again? Yeah, what? no. This is she's done this before. This is like the second or third time. She, I can't. She's got trust issues, and I'm a good guy, and I've never ever even thought about cheating on her but she keeps doing this i don't how much did she pay you um fifty dollars 
fifty dollars yeah, for rates are going up. Uh, Wait, so so you've never hold on. So you've like never cheated on her, and she's done this to you before. Yeah, no, I've never cheated on anybody. It's just not I'm not that kind of person. You know, she's just she she had some old relationships that were bad and so she just like she's got trust issues. But I'm you're completely committed and in love with her, but this is just too many times. I, you know, she swore she'd never do it yeah. again. No, it, like, it just messed up. Like, listen, Roz, I had no idea that all of this has ever gone down. I feel I feel bad. She like painted you out to be like a cheating bag and I thought I was just helping a girl like I really I had no idea that this was this ongoing thing yeah uh I don't know how I'm supposed to like prove to her that I'm not cheating you know I I can't I, I don't I don't want to be on this roller coaster anymore so yeah I thank no, you for I'm, telling me and I'm, I'm 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 done with her that's it's, that's it wait like done with her like you're like gonna break up with her now yeah, over. Like, over done. Done, done. I'm, I'm, this is it. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I can't live in like, like this. It's just, yeah. Tell you what, if you see her again, tell her thank you so much for paying me fifty dollars to set up my boyfriend. But tell her that it's over. I'm done. I don't even want to talk to her. Awkward. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like you've got a bad situation on your hands, Ross. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Who the? Oh, what's up, Ross? How are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. Who? <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the morning. It's a radio show. God, Ross is being set up a lot, oh, isn't he? A radio show? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Ross. What up? I don't, I don't understand. Is this, what you guys, is this a joke? <laughs> no. Well. No, this isn't a joke. Heather wanted to call you in a segment that we do on the show called An Awkward Tuesday Phone Call. It's where if you have an issue that you'd like some advice on, you can email us as long as you make a phone call on the air. And Heather wanted to call you to break the news to you that your girlfriend hired her to flirt with you. What? And it sounds like it's not the first time. Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. So on top of all this, I'm on the radio? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. God. You, got some, you got some drama, Ross. <laughs> yeah. Well put. Well, 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 so what did I do to deserve all this? I mean, I'm just, all I'm doing is being a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Usually gets you in trouble. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. So, Ross, that's the thing. I feel like you are, like, such a nice guy. And for that reason, I needed to jump in and I needed to just ditch all this to you because I feel like you definitely don't deserve this. Uh, I well, say, thank Ross, you, I guess. Yeah, no, <laughs> Ross, and I know this, listen, I know this is going to sound crazy, okay? But do you remember when you told me that you thought I was super pretty and that, like, some guy would be really lucky to have me? Uh-huh. Can I take that $50 and, like, take you out for a drink sometime? Do you think we could, like, maybe go out sometime and get to know each other? Wait, are, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ross, are now you... that you're going to break up with your girlfriend who thinks you're cheating all the time, maybe you want to go out with Heather. Hold on. Are you serious? Are you asking me out, like, right after I broke up with my girlfriend? <laughs> Wait, I don't think you've broken up with your girlfriend yeah, yet, you, technically. You still... I mean... <laughs> Well, I haven't, yeah, I, okay, so technically, I haven't broken up yet, but are you really asking me out right now? I mean, technically, you're single now, I guess wow. I am. What better, what better to do with the $50 from your overly dramatic girlfriend than us get to know each other and, like, oh, like put that behind you, you know? That is wow. such tainted money. Ross, oh, oh my God. I, I, I don't, I, I can't hold it together. I don't <laughs> Wow. Did you ever think of Heather since you met her in that bar? Have you, has she crossed your mind? I mean, I hate to say it, not really. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just, I'm just was really into my girlfriend. I, I don't know. I didn't really think of, uh, I didn't think of her. No. I'm here now. I thought you kind of meant those things you said to me, and I thought we really had a connection. So, I mean, I know you just broke up with your girlfriend, but... Don't you get over someone by getting on top of someone else? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, okay, well, I, I, I appreciate that you find me attractive and you like me, but this is insanely inappropriate, <laughs> and I'm going to need like some time, any time at all. <laughs> you sure you out. don't want to just hop back into a relationship real quick, like, <laughs> like even before your other one's fully done? Pretty sure. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that makes so wait, too much sense. Are you like, I mean, is this something where, like, call me later, Heather, or are you totally disgusted with what she's doing? 
Uh, I'm pretty much totally disgusted with what she's doing. Okay. Ooh, all right. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I, it's just a little strange that you would ask me out immediately after I've just broken up with somebody that I was in love with. I mean, well, let me let me ask you this. Is, this. is the only reason you called is because you want to date me? Because I'm a nice guy. Is that it? Well, I mean, not completely. I, just wanted, <laughs> I mean, yes and no. Yes and no. Just, oh. I felt like you needed to know what kind of girl your girlfriend was. And I'm sorry, but there was just something there for me. And you seem like a really nice guy. And maybe I'm even coming across. This whole thing is just awkward. You know what? This Tuesday awkward phone call just, like, I feel like is backfiring on me now. And now I feel, like, super awkward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Brooke, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not saying I told you so. Not yeah, saying I'm it at all. I told you so. I think I'm going to go now, honestly. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to go break up with the girl I love. Awkward. That sounds like that might be awkward. Oh, yeah. um, but hey, Ross, has enough time passed yet? I'm not gay, but do you want to go out? <laughs> all right. <laughs> you haven't all said right. no yet. He said all right. Yeah, you yeah, said all right. All Sweet. Right. Okay, cool. Broken Jubal in the morning. Move at 92.5. Hey, girl. What's up with you? Wait a minute. Is this the right number? It's um the loser line. Come on. Just call me back. If you haven't heard the loser line before, it works like this. Let's say somebody approaches you while you're out at the club and uses this charming pickup line. Hey, what's up, babe? Mm. Uh, you sleep on your stomach or what? What? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Remember, whatever you do, resist the urge to make fun of his cut-off CrossFit t-shirt. Instead, tell him that he should call you sometime and hang out and then give him the number to the loser line. So hopefully, he calls it and leaves an awkward voicemail that we can play for you on the air. Voicemails like this one. First unheard message. How you doing? This is Brad from <laughs> Chacon. Anyways, uh, you said you don't text, so I figured I'd give you a call. It doesn't look like, look at, like you're home and all, so all right. Anyways. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. I don't know why I'm stumbling on this phone, but hang on. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Next Did message. It doesn't yeah. look like you're home at all. That's what I heard, too. <laughs> and you know what? He dropped it like it was normal. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that makes it even scarier because that means he's there a lot. Yeah. yeah. Your, your lights seem to come on same time every night. You got a uh-huh. timer on those? <laughs> Anyway, you said you don't text, so call back. I don't know why I'm stumbling around here. Yeah, uh, the voicemail. Oh. Here's another message. Next message. Hey, it's uh, it's, and um, we said you said you were, you know, into golfing and stuff, and we made, you know, a, a date kind of to go golfing in a couple of days on Saturday. So, um, you know, having her back from you, I hope. You know, I hope you gave me the right number and everything, but I don't see why you want it. I mean, I really hope you're not like all these other girls, you know, just saying what you want to hear at at the time. But um, anyway, I don't think you are. So, you know, just give me a call back. Bye. Next message. Oh my God, he actually sounds nice. Why are all these women giving him the wrong phone and number? You can hear like hits him like halfway through the call. Yeah. Like I hope you're not giving me the wrong number. Like every other woman has right. done to me. I didn't know that was so common. Oh man! But I guess it's only common for that one dude. Well, the good thing is he called back. So oh, here's another right. message from so. that guy. Next message. Hey, Rach. It's uh, it's Ken. Um, I met you last Saturday. Yeah, like a week ago. We said we would go golfing. This morning, and I haven't heard back from you. So you're just exactly like every other girl. You talk all this shit that day, and then nothing. When it comes when it comes to the time of the date, you stand me up. Mm-hmm. What the hell? I'm better than that. I'm better than you. Who are you to stand me up? End of messages. Yeah. All right. He does sound like Prince Charming. Yeah. He does, right? Mm-hmm. I wonder why he's getting set up. You know, yeah. so much. It, it probably went like this. He probably said, "Hey, you want to go golfing next Saturday?" She's like, eh, "I'll check my schedule." Yeah. yeah. Or they just yeah. were out at the bar talking about golf, and he's like, "Oh, you golf too? <laughs> Sweet, we got plans next Saturday." She's like, "Yeah, here's the loser line." <laughs> and then he waited around at the golf course for two straight days. Oh, poor guy. Yeah. If, Not really. Remember, if you want the special loser line phone number, all you have to do is text the word "loser" L O S E R to seven eight five nine two. Next message. Hey, Karen. Uh, this is. 
I just want to say that I had a great time the other night at dinner. Uh, I, I really enjoyed uh, meeting your kids. I didn't know that you're going to bring them along, but that was fine. And um, I know you asked me about if it was okay if I, you know, paid for them. And I said, yeah, that was fine. And uh, I just want to say I didn't mind uh, watching them uh, for that half hour while you had to go take that phone call. I'm sure it was an important call. That was fine. So just uh, give me a call back and we can set up a second date. And, you know, and then we can also work out the payment for the Uber. Uh, the $75 I gave you for the Uber ride, <laughs> that was fine. Oh. You must live quite a ways away, you know, for $75. I've taken Uber several times, and it's never been over 25 So uh, I'd love to see you again. Give me a call. Next oh, I'm sure God. she'd love to see him again, too. Yeah. Sounds like she can do whatever she wants. Hey, watch my kids also can have 75 bucks. <laughs> yeah. I can't decide if she's a really bad mom or a really genius mom. Uh, why would like she free get... child care and free dinner? Yeah. I don't know. And she's probably Maybe. talking... To another guy for 30 minutes on the phone. Like, right. I gotta take it. She took that $75 and went out to dinner with somebody else yeah. and she oh, paid dude, while I, he was watching her kids. I think she went and got herself a pedicure in that 30 minutes somewhere down the road. <laughs> Here's another message from the loser. Next one. message. Ah, 59. Ah, ah, 60. Ah, hey. Hey. This is, uh, this is, uh, Chaz. We met the other night. Ah. <laughs> You know, you told me you like working out. I love working out, too. So, as you can tell, I'm calling you now in the middle of my workout doing my push-ups. Because you know, that's how Chaz rolls. The old Chaster does not play. I never got around to telling you what CB stands for. When I was younger, they called me Coffee Bean because... I grind so fine, I'm just like Maxwell House. Oh, I'm good to the last drop. Oh, you know, we need to get our bodies right together. Let's get our swole on. Ah, me and you, baby. Ah, yeah, let's get it right. Let's go, girl. Next message. I, I want to hang out with Coffee Bean. I do, too. I don't know why this dude got the loser line. He sounds... I like it just motivating to hang out with, you I know? Tell you, it was all awful until Coffee Bean came up. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, actually. Actually, I kind of like Coffee Bean. <laughs> yeah, me too. Right, so fine, yep. Like right. Maxwell House, yep. all right? <laughs> well, we'll get his number. We'll all hang out with Coffee Bean later yeah. if you can't, since he didn't get that date. Remember, listen to the loser line regularly on Mondays at 710 and 910. Your phone tap is coming up next. It's Brook and Jubal in the morning. 60 seconds away from your shock caller question of the day. But first... It's a pretty big day for me. Okay, oh. I don't know if that's a good sigh or a bad sigh. Yeah. Huge announcement to make. I bet you do. Cue the music. I realized something recently. Uh-huh. I was looking over my long and successful career in radio. Oh, were you? And I was comparing myself to some other members of the media. Mm-hmm. Okay. And while I'm definitely in the top 20 to 30 household names. We yeah. know that already. According to you. I haven't reached the upper echelon quite yet. Okay. And I noticed there's something that a lot of the biggest celebrities on earth have ever done before they become legends. Michael Jordan did it. Robert no. Downey Jr. did it. No. Martha Stewart did it. Yeah, Michael I... Phelps did it. All of them have announced their retirement and then come back out of retirement stronger and more successful oh. than ever. All I and could think was have a drug or alcohol yeah, problem right. or go to jail. <laughs> have a bunch of kids. That's important, too. I've had those, though. I've done all that. Not the kids thing, but uh, the jail and the drugs thing. I've done that. So I was like, what is the next step? And I realized the key to success is that I have to retire mm. and then make a glorious return to oh. showbiz. Oh, sweet. Does that mean so, I get a vacation from you for a couple weeks? Yeah. It's with a heavy heart that I announce I'm officially retiring from the show. <laughs> cool. Temporarily. Oh. oh. Until I make my epic comeback. Mm. I've had a lot of great memories, but it's time that I... Hang up the gold microphone, you I know. I gotta step in and say, I think you're doing it too young, man. I you're hope, doing it too early. Thank you. I hope you'll <laughs> respect my privacy at this tough time. And thank you for all the love and the support over the last few years. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Wow, that's a lot of oh, And you cued your own applause. So, 
<laughs> Until then, I'll be handing off the show uh-huh. for the next little bit to our own Jose Bolaños. That is Yay! a horrible decision. No Jose, way. I'm out. How do I show is yours. How do I run the board thing? Take it away, Jose. No. <laughs> hey, welcome to Jose and Brooke in the morning. Don't even put my, my name in that first, sentence. Now. I swear to God, I will cut you. And it's time for the shock collar question of the day. Wow. Oh, I got to go around and hit the music myself, or <laughs> you're supposed to hit the music, Jubal. Come out of retirement for me right now. <laughs> Everybody, I, I have some very exciting news. <laughs> I've decided <laughs> that I still have more to accomplish in my radio career. Oh, man, that was my big I gotta say, Retirement was nice. <laughs> I got to say, I enjoyed the free time. I enjoyed not waking up early. I enjoyed being able to do whatever I wanted to do. But I realized I've still got more work in this industry. So... I'm officially coming out of retirement. Oh, my gosh. He's making a comeback. And I'm hoping that my career will be more successful than ever. Wow. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm I'm back. I'm back. I I don't know what was more painful, that speech or the 30 seconds you left. Retirement. I can't decide. Retirement was nice, but just not for me, you know? I'm just ready to quit after all of this. (laughs) All right. It's time for the shot caller question of the day. Young Jeffrey has come in studio with a hat full of names. We'll draw a name out of the hat to see who will put on the shock collar this morning. They're asked a trivia question. If they get it right, they don't get shocked. Jeff does because he asked a terrible question. If they get it wrong, they get shocked to the song that you want us to sing. Text in at 78592. What song do you want to hear from the person who gets shocked today? Brooke has drawn a name out of the hat because she had the shock collar last. Oh, and I got Jose. Jose. Uh, Jose, here you go. Sorry to take that hosting job away from you. Dude, that's, that's the <laughs> sweet life, being the main host. Wow. <laughs> you were doing a I great job with it. Sorry. You got, you got 15 <laughs> seconds in and you didn't know what to do All next. Right. <laughs> Jose's got the shot collar on. Jeffrey, please read Jose the shot collar question of the day. If you remember yesterday's shot collar question, a survey recently came out asking 10,000 people over the age of 70, <laughs> what are their biggest regrets from their life? And we found out the number one lifetime regret is choosing the wrong career. But the same survey also asked for those people's top happiest moments from their life. And some of the ones that made the top five was the birth of their first child. That was easily number one. Of course. Their wedding day. Yes. The birth of grandchildren and the birth of another child in their family. But what was the other happiest moment that people over 70 say made the top five moments of their life? Wow. Whoa. And you got marriage and babies out of the way. Yeah. Well, maybe not. It could still have to do with, like, marriage and love, right? Like your engagement? Uh-huh. I don't know. I mean, that's pretty happy, but I wouldn't put it even where close to your wedding day or your kid. <laughs> if everything's about family, I think I want to stick on that route. Family and, and love and happiness. No, no, no. Well, it's about happiness, so humans okay. are <laughs> Humans are a selfish people. You really say so you think it's, like, the first thousand bucks I ever made or, or the, the first, first check I ever got? The biggest got. promotion you ever got or your graduation day from oh, college or really, high school. They're pretty old. What about when your significant other passes away and you get to date, <laughs> you get to date somebody younger and hotter? <laughs> when the life insurance policy kicks in. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I think it is? I'm going to stick with love, okay? And I think I have this one, all right? It's your first kiss. Because I will never forget my first kiss. Oh, one of my mine was memories. horrible. Mine was really mine bad was too, the but I remember like, ever. skipping home like, I did it! Like, that teacher was so nice. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. You're going first kiss? <laughs> yeah, first kiss. <laughs> right. According to a national survey of people over the age of 70, the top five happiest moments of their lives include the birth of their children and grandchildren, their wedding day, and the fifth happiest moment was the day... That they finally stopped working and oh, officially became retired. retired. Duh, they're over 70, you uh, idiot. Sorry, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Producer Boyd brought in the lyrics to Getting Jiggy With It by Will Smith. Hey. Jose will sing that before you get shocked. lyrics needed. Shot caller ready to go? Yes. yes. Okay, you can sing whenever you're ready. Getting jiggy with it. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Getting jiggy with it. Na, 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 na. <laughs> No, 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 no. Getting jiggy with it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'd love to be able to do that for 10 minutes straight. Yeah. see you. No, 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 no. You sure you don't want me to host the show? <laughs> Move it. 92.5. Bradley Johnson with 1-800-DUI-AWAY. Not getting behind the wheel after drinking is the best choice. 
But if you're pulled over, the next best choice is to call 1-800-DUI-AWAY. It's another Jubal phone tab. And weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on moving 92.5. Hello? Hi, I'm calling about the studio apartment that you have for rent. Yeah, yeah, hi. Who am I talking to? Oh, my name is Seth. Oh, hi, Seth. How can I help you? Well, I want to just know a few things about it. Um, when is it available? Uh, first of the month. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Um, also, it says there's a dishwasher. Is it a, like a person who does the dishes or a, a unit? <laughs> No, no, no person who, who does the dishes. I have oh. a brand new dishwasher in there, um, and I also have a brand new laundry unit, like a stackable unit in there as well. Oh, cool. Um, yeah. And the, the location looks pretty sweet. Do you think I could come by and um, look at it today? Yeah, yeah. Um, around what time? Uh, like 3, 3.30? 3.30. Okay. I can meet you at 3.30, yeah. Perfect, that works. And uh, I can just get the address from the ad. I do have one more question for you, though, before I go. Okay. How do you feel about cameras? Uh, what do you mean? Well, I just want to check if you would have a problem with me putting up some cameras in the place. Um, sure. I'm, I'm all about being safe. If, uh, if you want to put up some security cameras, that's fine. Cool, that's great, yeah. And uh, if you're wondering about me doing strange things in the place... You know, I can just give you the info and you can log on and watch me, so it's no problem there either. What? Well, if I put cameras up, then I'll just give you the info so you can log on and watch me, so you know what I'm doing in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I need to do that. That's okay. Okay, but if you wanted to, you could. I'm sure I could, but no, that's, yeah. that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I was just saying, because, like, think about it, you know, you could watch me do whatever, and I wouldn't even know. So it's kind of fun. Right, but I, I think that everybody has a right to their own privacy, so... Uh, but I don't mind at all. You can just log on and watch from time to time. Check it out if you wanted to. Yeah, uh, I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Um, like, what kind of stuff are you talking about? Oh, just, you know, living life like I do <laughs> in so, my apartment. So you, 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 like, blog or something about your life? No, no, uh-uh, no, I have a, just a normal job. I don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. I just figured, you you know, if I put cameras up in there, you could log on. You could even send me an email and let me know what time so I could be ready. Excuse me? Yeah, if you wanted to just let me know when you're going to be watching so I could just know that you're there. No, I, yeah, no, I, I heard you the first time. I'm, uh -huh. I'm kind of confused what you're asking me to do. Well, I'm just asking if I can come by and see the apartment because I really would like to rent it. And I was just offering that if you wanted to check me out on the cams, you can do that. Well, I mean, I'm going to meet be, you in person you know. at 3.30. I yeah. don't know why I'd want to watch you on camera. That seems very weird. Like I said, you don't know now because you haven't yet, but maybe when you check it out, you might want to watch from time to time. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm not going to want to watch ever. That'd be very uh, unprofessional. Awesome. Yeah, I know. I thought that would be cool. No, I, I said I'm professional. Cause okay, I have some serious questions. Some serious questions about you. About me? No, yeah. You, it's... you can ask questions about the apartment. You cannot uh -huh. ask questions about me. If you're going to rent to people who won't let you watch them on camera, then how are you going to know when they're wearing pants or not? Good question. I, I don't need to know whether or not they're not wearing pants. And you know what? This is getting a little ridiculous. And to be quite honest, I'm starting to get really kind of ticked off. This is not uh, a conversation that I should be having with anybody. It's weird because your sister Amy said that you would love to watch me on video. <laughs> what? So now I got to talk to her, I guess. How do you know my sister? Oh, that's easy because this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap oh, on you and your up. sister Amy set you up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she said that you've been having some issues renting out your place and finding normal tenants. So I thought the next best thing is to put some cameras in there and watch some people, you know? It's true. I have talked to so many weirdos. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> That's why you should always be aware when your tenants are wearing pants or not. Cameras. Remember that, okay? That was so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up every morning with Jubal Phone Tabs. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5. All right, Brooke, you're going for two wins in a row today. And all this week, it's a special edition of Winbrook's Bucks, where no matter what happens, you, rent, you, rent, you win a room with a brew from Angel of the Winds. 
Casino Resort. Let's go to the phones and find out who you're playing. It's Gail in Enumclaw. What's up, Gail? Oh, I'm ready to probably lose. <laughs> All right, Gail. That's the way. That's the attitude to have going into a big game. You're a true competitor, aren't you, Gail? Well, maybe I'll surprise myself. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know, Gail. Set the bar low. Yeah. yeah. You can only go up. All right, we're sending Brooke out of the studio. Gail, the game is played like this. You have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. If you don't know one, just say pass. And you have to beat Brooke outright to win, okay? <clears throat> okay. All right. See if my voice can hold up through the whole thing. <clears throat> Mine too. <laughs> yeah. All right, both of us. Okay, here we go. Your time <clears throat> starts after I take a drink of water. Very smart. I'll try to get this thing under control. Just don't ruin Gail's chances. <clears throat> All right, Gail. Here we go. That's I think I got it. Nice. All okay. right. Your time starts now. Today is the National Day of Appreciation for which profession? Teachers. NASA's ground control facility is located in which U.S. city? Uh, Cape Canaveral. Chuck, Chinook, Apache, and Lakota are all names of what type of military transport? Helicopters. With holdings of $2.5 trillion, what's the largest bank in America? Pass. What is it called when a horse wins the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stanks in the same year? Pass. I said Belmont Stanks. I too. know. I was like, <laughs> I don't know. That should be it's Belmont Stanks, but the Stanks should be a race like, like for a sure. Of weed or yeah. <laughs> I right, we'll bring Brooke back into the studio. So what's on your mind today, Gail? Anything you want to talk about? Uh, I'm moving, so I have a lot of work ahead of me. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> where Where are you moving to? Just across town from Enumclaw. Enum oh, <laughs> Enumclaw. Okay. okay. All right. So are you moving all the stuff yourself then? Oh, no. My son owns a, a moving business, so. Oh, that's, my what are you talking about, hard then? You got oh your son owns God. a whole moving business. That's easy. <laughs> So yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> All I know is I walked in and our digital producer over here said, quit complaining. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have a mic, so you can't hear him. He's, he's, he's upset with Gail. Very angry at you, Gail. All right, Brooke is in studio with the headphones on. You ready? Yeah. All right, your time starts now. Today is the National Day of Appreciation for which profession? Teachers. NASA's ground control facility is located in which U.S. city? Houston. Chinook, Apache, and Lakota are all names of what type of military transport? Helicopter. With holdings of $2.5 trillion, what's the largest bank in America? Mm, bank of America. What's it called when a horse wins the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes in the same year? Triple crown. With over 7 million visitors a year, what's the number one tourist attraction in India? Uh, the Oh my gosh, I can picture it. The Taj Mahal. Right, let's send it on over to the scoreboard and see how you guys did with Jose. Why are you trying to get pregnant without telling your boyfriend? <sighs> It was your mother's idea, okay? Melodios. <laughs> Gail, uh, you got two correct today. Oh, wow. This is better than you thought. Wait, Gail yeah. did surprise herself. <laughs> Brooke? I yeah. did. <laughs> Brooke, you got one extra question in and five correct. Ooh. Wow. Wow, Gail. I also surprised you, Gail. <laughs> yeah, you didn't win the money. Two does beat. No, five does beat two. Other, yeah. I'm bad at math. All right, let's go over the answers. Today is National Teacher Appreciation Day. NASA's ground control facility is located in Houston. Chinook, Apache, and Lakota are all names of helicopters. With holdings of $2.5 trillion, the largest bank in America is Chase. Mm. B of A is second. What is it called when a horse wins the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes all in the same year? That is the Triple Crown. With over 7 million visitors a year, what's the number one tourist attraction in India? That would be the Taj Mahal. Built entirely out of white marble. Ooh. God, that's crazy. Gail, you didn't win the money, but just for playing today, you won a room with a brew package at Angel of the Winds Casino Resort, which includes a free night stay at their hotel, a brewery tasting, and a $20 casino fun book. Fun. Yeah. All right, Gail. <laughs> See, look at that. You Angel are a winner. Angel of the Winds Casino Resort, just north of Seattle, off I-5, exit 210. And we'll play Winbrook's Bucks, same time, tomorrow. Moving 92.5.